He has what we're going to do to the backstay of our boat because it's not installed appropriately. It's not installed correctly, correct. So I went to his rig and, and uh, upgraded your rig with a DIY adjustable backstay. And here are the parts that we need. One thing we need to do is get this Harkin block. We have this block and we have that other double block. I don't know what that means. Are they those things that have the little round circles, the little pulley things? We have this and we have this thing, okay? Yeah. But we have that also, okay? Yeah. But we don't have, we have to add another one of these eye bolts on the opposite side because there's only one. Okay? I remember that, yeah. Okay, so I, I can order that from, uh, and this, that's that Harkin thing that he's talking about. It's a block that I'll show you how you attach it. Yeah, because right now ours is being attached by a tiny yeah. little string. Right. You see how they have it? AA? AA, yeah. Yeah. So this is where we would connect the wire, this little wire that goes back to there. And then your backstay would connect to the top up there. So it would go from side. It wouldn't go from side to side like it is now because it's on this uh, traveler back there. Yeah. What I was reading. It's only that 7,000 pages long. 309. This is the tech manual at the uh, Catalina dot. Org. org site yeah okay. which has a bunch of information but yeah it's not easy to find see this is you can either do this on either side it doesn't matter okay. wait but before you what what direction are we facing there are we standing behind the boat right now that's what it appears and looking towards the bow yes so that white square is that plastic transom. thing we have on our transom yeah this okay. one yeah all right now that's I the see. traveler bar Okay. So here's the difference in, see, this is what they're saying is the typical. So we don't even have the typical. We don't have anything. Like our setup is totally wrong. Totally, like everybody told us on the category. Totally group. incorrect. Yeah. It's bigger, just How back. do you determine which one of those three would be the best for us to use? Well, this is what the Stingy Sailor has right there, but he kind of in, incorporates this too. Thanks. You see how he has his? I mean, it's just like that other one, but, but he's got this traveler here so you can adjust it from either side. Um, let's see. I don't think there's a control F on here. How do you get the keyboard up on the iPad? You don't get a keyboard because that's the way they saved it. I think that's not even PDF. The way they put the whole manual in there is they scanned it. So you can't do any anything active with it mm -hmm. or whatever the word is. I remember looking for the boom kicker and uh, maybe it was on what's his names. <laughs> Stingy Sailor. You're Wait. on his site every day. Well, 17. I know that, but I mean, I mean oh, is there a search on there? Bless, Bless you. you. Like she could understand it. She yeah. understands. There's not a search. She's ready to get out of here too, Ma. See, I have. What? Go get your breakfast. I remember seeing it on the Stingy Sailor. All right. Well, I'm going to be splicing the hell out of this video, except for that cute stuff. I think we need to understand the concept behind what the use is of the backstay before we can understand what kind of pulleys and things we need. Because to me, the backstay, the front stay, and the side stays were literally just there to hold the mast up from falling. So the backstay to me would just be attached to that metal, whatever screw you called it, on the back side. That's kind of, there's only one on one side of the backstay, of the traveler. The other side of the traveler didn't have one on there. So that tells me that then if that's where the backstay gets connected to, it's not centered on the boat. Do you know what I'm talking about? Or are you not paying any attention? I'm listening. I don't know why somebody put that bolt either. on one side of the traveler, but not on the other. Right. There it is, the backstage transom chain plate uh, bolt. Okay. And then the boom kicker. That's the same one in that article, because this is the one for the Catalina 22. Ow. You tell them. I demand your attention. But if you go look for that, that backstay, that whole thing. Yeah. $421 mm -hmm. for all of that stuff. Right, but yeah, see, but we don't know if we need all that stuff. Right, we don't. But see, that's got that new backstay line, that, and then it has this other line. It comes with everything that we're looking at getting. Right, that's the bolt, the eye bolt. Hey, that's enough. See, we have this, this, this. We don't have that. I think I may have this. I can't remember new, but see, here's here's another one. This is the backstay adjustable wire and line bundle, but it doesn't. So you can get it for 108 bucks. But what's 
what's the difference? The other one looked like it had a lot more parts to it. It comes with uh, comes with the pulleys and stuff. You can get the pulleys cheaper. I got it online. I mean, I have it already in Amazon right there. Harkin. It's Buy them individually, or if it adds up being more than just buying the whole bulk, a 107 will buy the whole bulk. But that $400 thing comes with everything under the sun. I'm sure we don't need half that stuff. That may be able to get that. For that. What is it? The, just the line by itself? It's just, it's this line. This is the whole backstay that goes all the way to the top. Yeah. Okay. Which we don't need it. We already have one. Right. And comes with the line and whatever these little things are. Okay. But that's 107 bucks. This is everything for 421 bucks. But this thing is 20, which is the eye bolt. Okay, right now we're at, what, 80? All right, for the repair, we have this, okay? The Harkin wire block. Uh, we could do that, put that in there. See, this will have to be... Use a shackle to connect one end of the 10 foot mm -hmm. wire to the transom eye bolt on the opposite side, typically the starboard side. So that would be this one here. Okay. okay. And then you run it and come down on the other side and connect it to that block. Okay. So that means that the whole wire is 10 feet. Right. Okay. okay. Do we have a 10 foot wire or do we have to go to West we Marine? We have to go to West Marine and have, we have to make one. Okay. Okay. But here it tells you the. This is another one that tells you the length, how we need to do the thing, okay? How to tie the how to, circle? Exactly, and there's a tool you can buy. See, that's the correct way. These are not the correct way. You just have just one like that is it's showing the correct way. So we need to buy those little pieces of metal and then a tool to squish it? Correct. Okay, because God forbid they make anything that requires a tool we already own. Oh, exactly, that's not <laughs> right. It's called a swag. I think it's called a swag tool or something, wag, swag. Okay. But here's the link that says here, slip backstay, or uh, the backstay, these are the, the length of the uh, standing yeah. riggings, okay? Yeah. Wires. So it shows that it should be 28 foot. I'm assuming 28. 28 feet to the top of the mast. Right. So that's not the backstay. I mean, that's the backstay. Correct. The... But it says if you have a split backstay, which that's what we're going to do, is it, it says it needs to be 28, 24 feet. So it means it needs to be four foot shorter by having it like this. Cause right now it connects here, right? It connects from here to there. Yeah. Okay. So they're saying it needs to be four foot different is the way I read it. We don't have to bring the whole mast down. We can use the current mast uh, yeah. stay. Correct, stay. but that means we have to cut this. Okay. Four foot shorter. Okay. Okay. That means and then to, attach it to that little round. And then attach doohickey. it to that little thing. Now, how we're gonna do that? We know we're gonna make it shorter four feet, right? Yeah. So right now the backstay is connected to the traveler, which correct. is what everybody's telling okay. us is super dangerous. Correct. Okay. So what that's going to do is we need to connect it to this and then drill the hole over here for the other one. Yeah. Okay. So we've got to come up with a way so the mass does not go forward because when you disconnect. It's not going to go forward that much because it still has the six stays on the side, the shrouds or whatever on the side. So I'm... it's not going to go forward that much. And while you're hooking and doing all that, I can stand on top of the pop top and just hold the masts from falling forward. Okay. We already have that wire call to be good about. So you got right now you got your back stay okay mm -hmm. but it's connected to the wrong thing blah 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 so we have this thing holding up the boom right mm -hmm. that goes all the way up to the top so if there is some way that we can attach the boom to the sides mm -hmm. so it won't go that way yeah okay so that's why i was saying we need to come up with a way the to, topping lift to connect the topping lift to like our own homemade we can bungee cord it to the pulpit during correct the we can either bungee it or we're gonna have to we're gonna have to strap it because we don't want that thing going anywhere well, no. Okay, so that's why I'm thinking that we could bungee it, you know, or tie it to that. It's going to be in our way, but still we'll be able to shorten that by four feet. Yeah. Okay, and we got to get the tools. We got to go get all the stuff to do all that with. So when you go to the... I feel like I want to send a message to Jim's little boat and ask him to take a picture of how he has his set up. Yeah, and he probably would. Um, so it might be parked at his house. He can just snap a picture of it real quick. All right, yeah. I'll send him a message. I just don't want to cut anything that we're going to end up regretting cutting. Well, I 
totally agree. That's why I was going to make it a little shorter, longer. Than this. But, okay. This is basically right here is what that guy was just showing a picture of. Okay. Sailor. The sailor trailer. You got Not the sailor trailer. The sailor, sailor trader. <laughs> I've got so many words in my brain right now. Uh, called. Stingy sailor. Stingy sailor. It's basically the same thing. It says right here, it says backstay, cut off five to six of original length and form new eye with stainless steel thimble and two micro press sleeves. That's what those little things are called. We can make this the original backstay, just have it go this way, and then just buy this one that we attach to this side. We have this one. That's what we're gonna be using. That's that's a pulley system, okay? okay. So no, that goes here, this goes over here. So this right here, you shorten it, which brings it, you know, like that. Okay. See, so here comes your backstay. It connects to this pulley. Then you've got this over here. So it's splitting that. That's what you're getting your split backstay. And then this, you tighten, and it moves. Okay, this still connects to your boom. It's a traveler. The traveler, right. I have a new traveler too that came with the other one. That That's what I was cleaning up yesterday. I almost feel like he's speaking to us with that message. <laughs> I know, since he saw our video. Since he saw our horrible video when we broke our boom <laughs> and all 50,000 mistakes we made. That when you want to unclean it. That's what my brother was saying. He doesn't like to clean it at all. He likes to always have control over it. When the wind starts to blow hard, right? Yeah, he has that patch to each side. And you secure the sheet in your steering hand. Here's a little trick that will right, help there. you a lot when you're trying to use the traveler. So where's his back? So let's say we're just to? finishing just the up one our side? port tack. Yep. So we that know means we're going to go to starboard, and we know we see. Want that's why I want to ask side. him to take a picture that's, of that. That well, that means that he has. He has the straight. Just the one backstay wire. He doesn't have that upside down V. But it's not centered then. I would think that that would make a difference if he it's not centered. probably has. No, I'm going to ask him to send a picture. Yeah.